The Amazing Voyages of Sinbad, Part 1. Hey, Tack! Hey, Tick! Can I ask you something? Why is this ocean so boring all the time? Boring? What are you talking about? This is the place of adventure and fearless explorers. Oh, yay. The adventures of the water. The waves are a gem to see. And these voyagers are so fearless to feed me stale food. Now, now, don't be so negative, Tick. Every once in a while, there comes a man who shows courage and love for the unknown, like Sinbad. Sinbad? Yes, Sinbad the Sailor. Don't you know him? <sighs> Wait, let's go to the magic pot. His voyages are worth seeing. Well, this is just water. Are you going to do some abracadabra? Ah, abracadabra's old now. Watch and learn. Water, water, clear and blue. Show us all that is lost in you. Oh, magic water, show us the story of Sinbad the Sailor. Welcome to Baghdad, the city of thrills, and the home for our Sinbad the Sailor. Sinbad, I have heard that you are off to go to another market for business. Yes, Uncle. I was foolish to spend all the money my father had earned. I have nothing left. I have to carry on his business. I will set sail tomorrow with other folks of Baghdad. Very well, son. Bon voyage! Have a safe journey. And so, Sinbad left for his first voyage. Sinbad loved the first time on board. The breeze, the wind, the fresh blue waters, it called out to him. But slowly, he grew tired of it. He desperately wanted to step on the land, but there was no sign of a single island nearby. When suddenly... Captain, I can see a small island. Yay, Captain, look! Oh, this water is killing me! Finally, a piece of land! This island looks beautiful! Hey, Sinbad! Where are you going? Food is ready. I will be back soon. I want to look around a bit. This is all beautiful, but I have a feeling that something is wrong. The land feels a little different. Wait! What is happening? Why is the land moving? I have to get back to the ship. Sinbad ran with full speed. But he was so deep into the forest, it was a long way back. Meanwhile, the other merchants also felt the movement in the land. Why is the island moving? Did you feel that too? Hey, wake up. The island is moving. Something is wrong. Yeah, let's go back to the ship. Run! This is not an island. This is a sleeping whale. We woke her up with the fire. No! Why is this whale sleeping above the water? Take it down! Run! And that's what it was. The whale had slept for so long that an entire forest had grown over it. Everyone was so terrified, they didn't even know who got on the ship and who was left behind. Sinbad was running as fast as he can, but then... Whoa! The land just went in. What is happening? The whale was going into the water, and it was going to take the entire forest along with it. No! Wait! Oh. Sinbad thought that it was over for him, but fate had something else in mind. Oh, my man! <coughs> the ship is gone! What do I do now? I must not lose hope. This water will take me somewhere. Sinbad floated on the tree for days and nights. Finally, he reached a shore. He was so tired, he immediately fell asleep. When he woke up, he was very hungry and thirsty. Ah, oh, this 
place has nothing. If I want to survive, I have to try to climb this. There must be something up there. Wow! What is this place? Water! Oh, good grace. When I was on this ship, I miss land. Now I am here, I miss water. <sighs> I am so hungry. What is that noise? Horses! So there must be people around too. You are a strong horse. Where is your rider? Hey, we never saw you here. Who are you? Oh, I am so glad to finally meet some humans. Don't worry, I'm not a thief or anything. I was hungry, so I came to the forest for food. I am a sailor. I was on a floating island, which in fact was a whale who drowned me. I then, ha <laughs> ha, a whale, okay. Maybe you have hit your head too hard, my friend. Let's give you some food first. I'm sure I hit my head, but it really was a whale. But yes, some food would be nice. And then it took me down with it. I mean, imagine. All these years, the whale floated with a forest on its back, an entire forest. And then a handful of men and fire forced it to go under the water. I am not surprised that the whale was angry. <laughs> I am telling you, my crew didn't miss me at all as they pulled the anchor. Can't blame them. Everybody was scared for their lives. My hard luck, I say. I was the only one who drifted off in the sea. Hard luck? What are you talking about? Your story is brilliant. Do you know we come to this part of the island only once a year to feed the king's horses? Had you drifted here tomorrow, we would have been gone. You would have never found a way to the inhabited part of the land without us. Inhabited part? Of course, where the people live. Let us take you there. Our king will be happy to hear your story. The soldiers took Sinbad to the inhabited part of the island. It was a small kingdom with kind people. Sinbad met the king and narrated his story. Hmm, the sea is filled with surprises and mysteries indeed. You are a brave man. I will ask my men to take good care of you. Oh, your highness, this is more than I wished for. Just this morning I thought I will die on this island. And here I am, standing in front of a generous king. Please, let me be of some use to you. So, you want to earn your living here. I am impressed. Didn't you say you were a merchant? Well, then I have the perfect job for you. Why don't you help us to keep records of all the goods in transit on the port? Oh, that would be great. Sinbad was honored to be of some help. After all, they saved his life. A few weeks passed, and Sinbad, being Sinbad, got bored of the job. Uh, how do I ever go back to Baghdad? There's no way the king would lend me a ship to go back. And how do I even get back? <laughs> like I know the way. For all I know, I might end up with a whale again. I bet her life is more adventurous than mine right now. Once, as Sinbad was keeping record of the cargo. So, this belongs to Sinbad. What? Sinbad? Hey, I know you. Really? I wouldn't think my face is that common. This cargo belongs to a merchant we had on our ship, Sinbad the Sailor. Sadly, we lost him back in the sea. Good grace! I am Sinbad the Sailor. And I am the king of this land. And that was a very bad joke. I know the king of this place, and I am telling the truth. I know about the whale. It took me into the water, and I floated here. I really am Sinbad. Oh! I never told you about the whale. You are telling me the truth, aren't you? Oh, Sinbad, it is so nice to see you again. Are you coming back with us? Yes, of course. I miss home. I will have to meet with the king and explain him everything. You are a lucky man to be able to go back home, Sinbad. You have worked very hard here. 
I will ask my men to hand over your payment to you. And here, keep this. Have a good journey. You are the kindest, your highness. And so, Sinbad took the ship and reached back home to his people, friends, and family. Wow, Tack! This ocean is definitely filled with a lot of mysteries. A forest on a whale. Who would have thought? Uh, uh, uh. That's not all, Tick. Don't you know about the egg story? And the snakes one? What? No? Tell me, tell me! <laughs> all in good time, my friend. Now, let's go and eat something. I am hungry. <laughs> let's go on the sleeping whale. What? No, I am not flying that much now. 